Welcome back to Algo Trading using ME Broker AFL from Market Secrets. This is an another much awaited video and most requested video from us on ME Broker, which is Bar Replay option. Bar Replay is one of the best features available in ME Broker, and it's really cool as well. Every trader who wants to backtest should understand and use the Bar Replay tool. So the bar replay tool is available under tools menu. So you have to click on tools and you have to select bar replay to open the bar replay tool. Bar replay feature plays back data for all the symbols at once with user defined speed. It means the data for all the symbols will end at specified playback position. So let's talk about these different controls we have in the bar replay option first. The first one is the rewind button, which can be used to move the bar replay to the beginning. So if you have selected a date range for bar replay here, and if you are in middle of somewhere, and if you want to start from the beginning again, then you need to click this button. And this one will take the bar replay one step backwards. So if you look at the chart now, we have multiple candles already. So this is our last candle. And if you select on this step back button, one candle will be erased. Likewise, right? You can go one step backwards. Likewise, there's one step forward button, which can be used to move forward one step by one step. And if you click on the last button, which is go to end, this will go to the last data feed that we have. And if you want to go back to the beginning, then you can click on this particular button, which will move back to the beginning of the data feed. So if you want to start all over again, you can use this button. And if you want to stop the bar replay and end it, then you can click on the stop button and likewise pause button. If you are playing this bar replay feature, this will start plotting the candles. And if you want to pause it to observe something, then you can use this pause button. So I pressed it. See, this has paused. And now if I release it, so this should continue. And if I want to stop all of it, I can click on the stop button. So again, if you click on play, it will start all over again. So that's how this particular window should be used. Now, in addition to that, you have something called slider, which can navigate through multiple data really faster. So this allows you to see the playback progress as well by manually moving the slider. So you can just move around the slider to you know move to different portions. And you also have the start and end date buttons here. So this control will provide the start date and end date for your simulation. So if you want to you know start the data from somewhere, right? So you can move navigate to that particular period and you can select on the data. And likewise, you can change the end date as well. So any data that you have selected beyond this period will not be visible whatever data that you have selected during this uh, time period window that uh, is provided here, right? Only those will be visible. And in addition to that, you have something called the step interval, which defines the interval of each step, which is nothing but each candle forward. So recommended setting is to set the base interval of your database. So if you have a one minute uh, data in your database, you can set the step interval to one minute. If you have the only the five minutes or end of the uh, day data, you can set the step interval to five minutes or uh, you know one day. So based on your database uh, you know, step interval, you can set this for optimal results. But however, you are allowed to change it uh, if you want to the higher time frames. So if you have one minute data, but if you want the step interval to be two minutes, then you can do that. But if you have the on-minute data, but if you want 30 second feed rate, right, you will not be able to do it. So that, that's the difference. You can move up by only higher step intervals. The next option here is the speed parameter, which defines the step frequency. It means how many steps will be played back within particular second. So if you give one, one candle will be populated every second. If you give two, it will populate two candles every second. The maximum value that you can give is five. So if you select three for every single second, you will get three steps. And you have some checkboxes here. This is skip after hours and skip weekends. So if you want to skip the duration for after hours and weekends, right? So you need to enable it. This should always be enabled by default because we have always have after hours and weekends. If you are using crypto, then you can uh, you know ignore this. 
So if you look at the chart, right, uh, you know, this bar replay feature is already working. So it's plotting candle by candle. So this will help you to, you know, uh, understand how the charts will get plotted in real time. So if you want to forward test uh, something or even if you want to back test something, but if you want the real feel of, you know, uh, whether it would have worked in the market or not, right, instead of going for the automated, uh, man, uh, you know, back test, if you want to do the manual back test, right, this bar replay feature will come in handy so you can simulate the actual market uh, in whatever time frame that you need in whatever speed you need using this bar replay option so if you want to do any manual back test or forward test this tool will come in handy and one another critical factor that you need to remember here is that this playback simulation will not affect your database in any way so you don't have to worry about that at all the simulation is done internally and the database is kept untouched and in intact so you don't have to you know worry about the risk of losing the data while doing the bar replay so there is no risk associated with this feature you can do any mistakes or you can do anything with this bar replay feature it won't affect your data in any way so you don't have to worry about that too much so with that right so we have explored all the options available in the bar replay feature so do give it a try and let us know if you have any queries or concerns about this particular feature or anything about me broker in general so with that note i'm closing today's session if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode please leave it down in the comment section also i have another information for you so in addition to this series we have multiple series running in parallel in our website so we have separate series on algo trading using pine script we have something on trading strategies investment strategies tax savings so do check it out and you are free and let us know if you have any comments or feedbacks about those as well so those are all completely free learnings so do give it a shot and in addition to that we have data feeds as well which can be used by any active intraday trader so do check those out as well it will help you immensely while taking up the real-time trades in the market i would like to thank you once again for watching this video hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful thanks for watching have a great day goodbye